Magandang gabi mga kaibigan at minamahal naming mga kapatid. Narito na po tayo sa last na topic sa ating serye Creation Series dito po sa ating Health Evangelism Program. Kasama po natin ngayong gabi si Paul Mark Caberte, ang ating translator sa sign language. Magandang gabi po sa bawat isa sa atin, saan man kayo po naroon. Nawa ang pagpapala at bendisyon ng ating Panginoon ang ating matatanggap ngayong oras. Sa ating pong pag-aaral, gusto ko pong dalhin muli ang inyong uh, isipan doon sa paglalang ng ating Panginoon. Ginawa po niya ang mundo puno ng lahat ng ating pangangailangan. Perfecto. But something happened in between. Kaya nga't kinakailangan na gagawa siya pagdating ng kanyang pagbalik bagong mundo. A recreation of the new world. Kaya nga't pinag-aaralan po natin sa buong serye yung word na creation. Dahil lahat po nito ay nangyayari in between sa first creation and the recreation. At ngayong gabi, Pag-aaralan po natin tungkol sa nutrisyon. It's all about the fuel of your body and my body for health and wellness. Pero huwag po natin kalilimutan. Dahil meron pong magnanakaw, there is a thief in John chapter 10 verse 10, does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. Na dapat si Kristo na ating tagapagligtas, si Kristo na ating kaibigan, ay sabi po niya, I have come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Kaya nga, ito po ang isang paraan. Nagbigay siya ng nutrisyon sa bawat isa sa atin. Pero bago po tayo magpatuloy, kung titignan po natin, Ang ating mga sariling katawan, ito po ay pag-aari ng ating, ating Diyos. Na sabi ng 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16, Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's Spirit dwells in you? Hindi niyo ba alam na kayo ay templo ng Diyos at ang Espiritu ng Diyos ay nananahan sa inyo? Kaya nga mga kaibigan, Ang sabi po ng ating banal na kasulatan sa 1 Corinthians 10.31, So whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, kahit ano pong ating gagawin, ang advice po sa atin ay, do all to the glory of God. Kahit po sa ating pagtulog, hindi lamang sa pagkain, hindi lamang sa pag-inom. Lahat ng ating ginagawa, dapat gagawin po natin na makapagbibigay sa kaluwalhatian ng ating Diyos na tagapagligtas at Diyos na ating kaibigan. Ang sabi po nito, We were created in a garden. And the closer we return to the garden, Living the healthier life, we will be. Habang tayo'y lalapit, babalik doon sa garden, we will be having a healthier life. Dahil the Bible said, kung titignan po natin yung original na prescription ng ating Panginoon, sa Genesis chapter 1 verse 21, ganito po ang sabi ng Biblia. See, I have given you every herbs that yield seeds, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree whose fruit yields seed, to you it shall be for food. Makikita po natin na ito po ang original na pagkain na binigay ng Diyos sa bawat isa sa atin. Pagkain na kapagbibigay ng kalusugan ng ating mga katawan. Fruits, Whole grains, at ang sabi po, kung titignan po natin ang kasaysayan ng ating sanlibutan, meron mga tao na sila ay nabuhay at ang kanilang kinakain, ito po ay nanggaling lahat sa tanim. And they are prominent people. And I would like to show you some of them. Nandito po ang isang Greek philosopher, si Plato at saka si Socrates. 
scientists, si Isaac Newton at si Albert Einstein, inventor, Thomas Edison and Henry Ford, painter, Leonardo da Vinci and Vincent van Gogh, writer, si Mark Twain and Ben Franklin, humanitarians, si Clara Barton and Rosa Parks, and also entertainers, si Jerry Seinfeld and Carrie Underwood. Ito pong mga taong ito, they are people who are living from plant-based diet. Sinunod po nila. Anang James chapter 1 verse 17, ganito po ang wika. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of light with whom there is no variation of shadow of turning. There is no variation of shadow of turning. Hindi po siya babaliktad. Hindi po siya magsisisi sa pagbibigay ng mga magagandang bagay sa ating buhay. Tingnan po natin ang ating dugo. Human blood cells have a lifespan of only 3 months or 120 days. So makikita po natin na kinakailangan po natin ito ay bigyan ng tamang pagkain upang tayo magiging malusog. The healthier your blood, the healthier you are. Ang sabi po rito, people who eat only plant-based food have reduced rates of heart disease, cancer, and even stroke. Mga minamahal na mga kaibigan. Ito pong solusyon sa mga sakit na nararanasan natin ngayon, lalong-lalo na po ngayong panahon ng pandemic, ito po yung mga comorbid na ito ay nagbibigay ng nagpapalala sa tinatawag po nating COVID-19. Ito pong mga sakit na ito. At ang sabi pa rito, they live as much as 11 years longer than those who eat the highly refined Typical American diet, high in dairy, high in fat, high in animal products, mga kaibigan. Kung titignan po natin, vegetarian and heart disease. Heart disease remains the leading cause of death in the United States, both for men and women. And Dr. Cadwell S. Stein, ang sabi po niya sa kanyang pag-aaral, Doon sa Cleveland Clinic, he believes that heart disease can be prevented, can be reversed, and can be largely eradicated. And he argues we must not focus just on the symptoms, but on the cause of all these things. So makikita po natin, researchers of Loma Linda University found that vegetarian, when I say vegetarian, it's a plant-based diet, are at lower risk of developing long-term health complication, including heart disease, diabetes, stroke, compared to non-vegetarian people. So makita po natin dito man minamahal naming mga kapatid. Ang lahat ng ito ay nagpapatunay kung gaano kalaki ang pag-ibig at pagmamahal ng ating Diyos. A survey of 42,000 Italians found that person with the highest level of vegetable consumption had a reduced risk of heart attack and angina when compared to those in the lowest level of, veget of vegetable consumption. So, mas maraming vegetable, mas maraming gulay, mas maraming galing sa tanim, mas mataas po yung ating level when it comes to lowest in lifestyle diseases. Sa British study, found daily consumption of fresh fruit associated with a 24% reduction of mortality from heart disease and a 32% reduction of death from some type of vascular disease. Daily consumption of raw salads was associated with 26% reduction in mortality from heart disease. Napakalaking mga, mga pagpapala. Kung atin lamang susundin ang prescription na binigay ng ating Panginoon. And another study, those who ate a total plant-based diet had a 57% lower incidence of coronary heart disease compared to meat eaters. 
Those who consume a vegetarian diet that was rich in green, leafy vegetable, and other low calorie vegetable experience after only two weeks, mark an improvement in the lowering of their bad cholesterol or LDL and increase in their good cholesterol HDL sa kanilang katawan. It's just a matter of two weeks. And according to the Adventist Health Study 1, which was which included 26,473 people over a period of 12 years, found that people who ate nuts five or more times per week cut the risk of having heart attack by 51%. And a 48 reduction of death from heart attack as compared to those who ate nuts less than once per week. So makita po natin kung ano po ang mga pagpapala ng ating makukuha kung kakain tayo doon sa prescribe ng ating Panginoon. The health benefits of nuts is lower in saturated fat, contains vitamins, mineral, and potassium. It also has magnesium, vitamin E, folic acid, copper, and dietary fiber. Mga minamahal na mga kaibigan. And regular consumption of whole wheat bread was associated with a 40 to 50% reduction of fatal and non-fatal disease. Kaya mga minamahal ng mga kaibigan, ito pa po ang isang pag-aaral. A number of studies have shown that legumes, yung pong mga buto-buto, yung mga seeds, lower blood cholesterol level, improve blood sugar control, and lower triglyceride level. Since beans are good source of soluble fibers, vegetable protein, and polyunsaturated fat, consuming a diet rich in legumes will lower the risk of heart disease. Ito po ang simpleng solusyon na binigay ng Diyos sa bawat isa sa atin upang tayo magkaroon ng malusog na pangangatawan mga minamahal ng mga kaibigan. The reddish pigment, yung pong kulay that are found in fruits such as strawberries, cherries, cranberry, raspberry, blueberries, grapes, and black currants are very effective in protecting against heart disease by inhibiting LDL cholesterol or bad cholesterol and a buildup also contribute to a healthy blood flow. Ito po yung tumutulong kung bakit maluwag yung daloy ng ating dugo sa ating mga ugat. Ito po nagbibigay sa atin ng kalusugan. The evidence is in. A plant-based diet protects against coronary disease. Vegetable, fruits, and other plant foods are the rich source of antioxidant nutrient like vitamin C, vitamin E, beta-carotene, and other carotenoids. They contain thousands of phytochemicals. Phytochemicals are the, are the colors that we can see in plants and in fruits. And sabi po dito, a major report published by the World Cancer Research Fund in 1997 recommended we lower our risk of cancer by choosing predominantly plant-based diet rich in variety of vegetables and fruits and legumes. But three dozen plant foods have been identified possessing cancer protective properties. Diet for our spiritual health, hindi lamang po sa ating physical, bagkos meron din pangkain para sa ating spiritual na buhay. Kung titignan po natin, ang sabi po ng Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, Man shall not live by bread alone. Ang tao po ay hindi nabubuhay sa pamamagitan ng tinapay lamang, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God, ang salita po ng ating Panginoon. Hindi lamang po spiritual ang kinakailangan nating buhay. Kung titignan po natin yung ating physical, our physical life, alam po ninyo ang ating Diyos ay napakabait. 
Nung kanyang ginawa ang tao, Genesis chapter 1 verse 29, ibinigay niyang original na diet. Nung ang tao ay nagkasala, Genesis chapter 3 verse 18, idinagdag po yung mga dahon. At noong nagkaroon ng flood, meron ibinigay na special na pagkain para sa tao. Titignan po natin during the time of Noah. Nung bago dumating ang baha, asabi po ng Panginoon kang Noah, you shall take with you seven each of every clean, a male and his female. Seven pairs ang sinasabi ng Panginoon. And doon sa hindi malinis, doon sa karumaldumal, two each of animals that are unclean, a male and female. So makikita po natin dito minamahal na mga kaibigan, meron pong malinis na mga animal at meron din hindi malinis o makarumaldumal mga minamahal na mga kaibigan. Kung titignan po natin, it is because ito po yung mga nangyari. Alam ng Diyos kung gaano katagal yung baha and kung gaano kataas and the waters, Genesis 7, 19 and 20, and the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth, and all the high hills that were under the whole heaven were covered 15 cubits upward did the water prevail, and the mountains were covered. Ano po, gano po katagal? Ito po ay tumagal sa ibabaw ng lupa ang tubig, and the waters prevail on the earth 100 50 days. Genesis chapter 7 verse 24. Ibig pong sabihin, limang buwan mga minamahal na mga kaibigan na ang lupa ay nasa ilalim ng tubig. Therefore, wala pong nabuhay o buhay na tanim sa panahon na iyon. Ibig sabihin, wala silang makain. But because God is a loving God, hindi po niya pinabayaan ang tao. Ang sabi ng Diyos, God allowed the eating of meat. However, God also designated the healthiest variety of animal for consumption. Kung makikita po ninyo, it is recorded in the book of Leviticus chapter 11 and in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 14 verses 3 to 21. Kung titignan po natin, mula sa pagkain ng galing sa tanim o galing sa gulay at prutas, Dahil walang gulay at prutas, ang sabi ng Panginoon, Speak to the children of Israel, saying this, These are the animals which you may eat among all the animals that are on the earth. Ano po yung mga animals na yon? Among the animals, whatever divides the hoof, having cloven hooves, and chewing the cud that you may eat. Tatlo pong palatandaan. Divide the hoof, having cloven hooves, and chewing the cud. Ito po yung ating tatlong palatandaan sa malinis at pwede nating kainin na mga hayop. Titignan po ninyo yung paa. Biyak yung paa, biyak yung kanyang kuko, at siya ay he is chewing the cud. Hindi po yung buo. Titignan po natin. Nevertheless, of those that chew the cud, who have cloven hooves, meron din mga animal na Meron silang tinatawag na chudakad or having cloven hooves. You shall not eat such as this, the camel. At iba't iba pang mga, mga hayop ang binigyan ng pangalan because they are unclean for yun, sabi ng Panginoon. At ito pa po, mga minamahal na mga kaibigan. Ang Diyos ay nagmamahal sa inyo. Binigyan po tayo ng healthiest kind of food dahil ikaw at ako ispesyal. Also, sabi ng Panginoon, Deuteronomy 14, 7 and 8, Also, the swine is unclean for you, karumaldumal para sa inyo, because it has cloven hooves, yet does not chew the cud, you shall not eat their flesh or touch their dead carcasses. Ito po ang advice ng ating Panginoon. Dahil mahal po niya tayo. Maliban doon, meron pa po. It shall be a perpetual statute for your generation throughout your dwellings that ye eat neither fat 
or blood. Dahil alam po ng Diyos na ang taba ay hindi po nakapagbibigay ng kalusugan sa bawat isa sa atin. At alam ng Diyos ng pagkain ng mga bagay na ito ay hindi forever. Bagkos ito lamang ay temporary panahon na walang makain na gulay na galing sa tanim. Titignan po natin yung kanilang life expectancy. Comparing people na bago dumating yung baha at yung mga tao after yung baha. Titignan po natin the life expectancy before the flood. Makikita po natin na mula kay Adan hanggang doon kay Noah, ang kanilang life expectancy ay more than 900. Iilan lang po yung hindi nakaabot ng 900 katulad po ni Lamek. At makita po natin si Metusala, siya po ang pinakamahabang buhay. Ngunit pagkatapos ng flood, after the flood, tignan po ninyo ang nangyari doon sa kanilang life expectancy. Mula kang Noah, kay Noah na sumra 900, pababa ng pababa ang buhay ng tao hanggang doon kay Moses na 120 na lang. The question is, posible ba kaya ng pagkain ng galing sa hayop ang nagpababa ng life expectancy ng tao. Pero makita po natin kung gaano ang pagmamahal ng ating Panginoon. Pagdating naman sa mga isda, sa mga nasa tubig, nasa dagat at nasa mga tubig, ano pong pwede natin makain? Ang sabi po ng Panginoon, This you may eat of all that are in the waters, whatever in the water that has fins and scale. Dalawa po, merong fins at saka scale and whatever in the seas or in the river that you may eat. Kung meron po yung dalawa, pwede po natin kainin. Pero kung wala yung isa, hindi po pwede. Kinakailangan present yung dalawa. The world best seller In the world, wala pong iba kundi ang banal na kasulatan. Because this is our guide to a healthier life. This is our guide to a healthier spiritual life. The Bible is still the world's bestseller with 83 million copies sold a year. Americans spent $2.4 billion on Bibles in 2006. Kaya nga't sabi, ng Barna Research Group, 93% of all household in the United States own one or more Bible. But, ito po ang malungkot na bahagi, but only 12% read the Bible every day. And 57% do not read the Bible at all during a typical week. Napakalungkot. Napakarami ang may Biblia. Kakaunti ang nagbabasa, kaya nga't ang mga tao ngayon, tayo po ay nagkakaroon ng mga malubhang karamdaman. It is because hindi po natin binabasa yung ating manual na binigay ng ating Panginoon na siyang nagbibigay sa atin ng guide upang tayo mabuhay na malusog sa mundong ibabaw. Ang sabi ni isang, isang program o isang kolom ni Abi Kolom, sa isang pahayagat, Ganito po ang nangyari. Meron pong isang anak ng isang napakayaman na, la- na tao, familia, and was about to graduate from high school. It was a custom in that affluent neighborhood na kapag ang kanilang anak ay gagraduate, yung mga parents, ang kanilang niririgalo ay mga sasakyan. Bill and his father had spent months. Buwan po ang kanilang ginugol upang maghanap ng Iririgalo para sa kanya yung perfect one na sasakyan na iririgalo sa kanya. And on the eve of his graduation, ang tatay ni Bill, Bill's father handed him a gift wrap Bible. Isa pong Biblia na binalot. Bill was so angry. Galit na galit si Bill. Dahil isang buwan mahigit ang kanilang ginugol upang maghanap ng sasakyan at pagdating ng kanyang graduation, ang ibigay sa kanya is only a Bible. Then he threw the Bible down and he stormed out of their house. Tragically, he and his father never saw each other again. It was only 
on the news of his father's death that brought Bill home. Hindi na naglayas at hindi na bumalik, nakabalik lang siya dahil namatay ang kanyang papa. And as he sat one night, going through the, his father's possession, tinitignan niya yung mga propidad ng kanyang papa, yung mga naiwan ng kanyang papa, he came across with the Bible that his father had given him. He blew off the dust and opened it. Hindi pa na-open yung balot to find a cashier's check dated the day of his graduation in the exact amount the car that they had chosen together. Mga kaibigan, the Word of God is eternal. The Word of God is full of blessing. There are three eternal truths of the Word of God. Number one, the Word of God is eternal. Heaven and earth will pass away, but the words will by no means pass away. Matthew 24, 35. And ang sabi ng 48, Isaiah 40 verse 8, The grass will wither, the flower will fade, but the word of God stands forever. In a world of rapid changes, uncertainty, God's word is eternal. Never outdated mga minamahal na kapatid. Ang sabi ni George Washington, It is impossible to rightly govern the world without God and the Bible. He has worse than an infidel who does not read and acknowledge his obligation to God. Yan po ang sabi ni, ni George Washington. Si Thomas Jeff Jefferson, ang sabi po, I have always said and always will say that the studious perusal of the sacred volume will make a better citizen, better farmers, better husband. The Bible make best people in the world. You want to become best, read the Bible. Si John Quincy Adams, ang sabi po, my custom is to read four to five chapters of the Bible every morning, immediately after rising. It seems to me, the most suitable manner of beginning the day, it is a valuable and an exhaustible mine of knowledge and virtue. Makita po natin, the principle of God's word will guide and shape our lives today as well, mga minamahal na mga kaibigan. God's word is a life changing. Pwede pong baguhin niya ang ating buhay. Sabi po lito, having been born again, and not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible through the word of God, which lives and abides forever. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 23. By which we have been given an exceeding great and precious promises, that through this you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Alam po ninyo, meron isang kasaysayan, kwento ng isang Vietnamese na isang Christian pero nung pumasok yung tinatawag natin communist sa kanilang country yung North Vietnam pumasok sa South Vietnam siya po ay hinuli dahil na pagkamalan na suspitsa na siya ay nagbibigay ng impormasyon sa mga Americans at inilagay siya sa concentration camp Hindi siya pinayagan magbasa ng mga democratic articles o mga babasahin. Hindi siya pinayagan magbasa ng Biblia because they want to remove from his mind about God and Christianity ang ibinigay sa kanya puros mga propaganda ng communism. Habang siya nagbabasa ng mga propaganda ng communism, dumating po yung punto ng sabi niya, probably they lie with me. Nagsinungaling sila sa akin na totoo pala walang Diyos. And he decided, as sabi niya bukas paggising ko, hindi na ako mananalangin, hindi na ako maniniwala na merong Diyos. Paggising niya ng kinaumagahan. He was assigned sa isang trabaho na inaayawan ng mga preso. Ang paglilinis doon sa kubeta ng mga preso, doon sa concentration camp. Napakarumi. Pero dahil yung ibinigay sa kanya, ginawa niya yung kanyang gawain. At habang siya'y naglilinis, habang linilinisan niya, tinatanggal yung mga basura na naroon doon sa basurahan, yung mga tissue paper na ginagamit doon sa CR, habang linilinisan niya, nakita niya ang isang papel na ang nakasulat ay English. At sabi niya, 
Ano yun? Kinuha niya, tinugasan, inilagay doon sa kaniyang kaniyang bulsa. At nung nakatulog na yung kaniyang roommate, kinagabihan. Kaniyang kinuha at binasa. And he came to discover that it is the Word of God. At ang nakalagay doon ay Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Everything happens because God has a plan. All things nangyayari dahil sa ating Panginoon. Ito po ang kaniyang nakita. At ang sabi niya, ang Diyos ay tumatawag sa akin. At every day habang siya naglilinis, every day nakikita niya meron na namang isang panid, isang page ng Bible. Every day, tagi isang page. And later on, it came to discover mga minamahal na mga kaibigan na mayroong isang opusyal sa concentration camp na naka-confiscate ng Bible at ginagamit niyang tissue paper ng bawat pahina ng Bible every morning. At ito ang kinukuha ng Vietnamese na iyon. Mga kaibigan, God has a thousand ways to supply our needs, even our spiritual need. Because God's Word is life-changing. God's Word is relevant to all generation. Hindi lamang po sa kapanahunan ni Kristo, hindi lamang po sa kapanahunan ng mga apostoles, kahit po sa ating kapanahunan. Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Your faithfulness endures to all generation. For the word of God is a living, powerful, sharper than two-edged sword. Ito po ay buhay. Ito po ay napakatalas. Piercing even to the division of the soul and the spirit. And is discerner of the thoughts and intent of the heart. For the word of God. Hindi lamang po living, it is also powerful. Ang sabi po ni Abraham Lincoln, I am busily engaged in the study of the Bible. I believe it is God's Word because it finds me where I am. I believe the Bible is the best gift God has ever given to men. All the good of the Savior and the world is communicated to us through the book. Si Woodrow Wilson sabi niya, When you have read the Bible, you know it is the Word of God because it is the key to your heart, to your own happiness, and to your own duty. Makikita po natin, minamahal na mga kaibigan. Are you facing a major decision in your life? Kayo ba'y humaharap ng isang major decision sa inyong buhay? Do you need hope and courage? Nangangailangan po ba kayo ng hope sa inyong buhay at courage sa inyong buhay? Lakas na loob, pag-asa. Has guilt stolen your joy and robbed you happiness? Ang inyo bang mga kasalanan, ang mga nangyayari ba sa inyong buhay ay siyang kumukuha ng inyong kaligayahan? Is there something missing in your life? Minamahal na kaibigan, sa gabing ito, Meron bang kulang sa iyong buhay? And I would like to tell you that the Word of God can feel what is missing. Dahil po ang isang tao na nasa kay Kristo ay magiging bagong nila lang. If any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things are passed away and all things become new. Mga minamahal na mga kaibigan at mga kapatid, gusto ng Diyos, babaguhin po yung ating buhay. Gusto ng Diyos na tayo po'y magkakaroon ng pagkain, hindi lamang sa ating pisikal, kundi ang ating spiritual na buhay sa pamamagitan ng kaniyang salita. At sa pamamagitan ng kaniyang salita, magkakaroon po tayo ng bagong buhay. God can create a new person in you. And in me. He wants you to be a new person. He loves you and He is preparing a place for you and soon He is coming to take you, to take me, and be with Him forever and ever. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your love. Thank you for your word. Thank you for this manual that you have 
given us that will guide us in our daily living. Help us to be faithful to you, Heavenly Father. Help us to accept you, to accept your words as our guide and accept you as our Savior. Thank you for being with us in our study. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.